All right. Now, um, our next speaker is Tamil Man Maldonado. I just got her bio. She was one of those that I sent her the email and said, give me a bio or I'll make one up. <laughs> but thank you very much. Tamil Maldonado Vega works both in the arts and sciences while providing opportunities to underrepresented individuals in both fields. She is the founder and director of the community organization Barrio E. Neighborhood is. Barrio Ease was founded in 2012 as a consequence of a social need to diversify arts, bring awareness of different cultures, promote inclusiveness, and provide a space for integration of our society. Barrio E is aware of the increased Latino population in Colorado, offers possible solutions through arts for potential challenges that, di that diversity brings to our communities. We empower individuals with education, help them understand and embrace other cultures, and spark new cre creativity and connections in the area. Barrio E is a unique community organization in the state of Colorado aiming to educate and expose, promote, and preserve Puerto Rican traditional music, dance, and art. Ms. Maldonado studied applied mathematics, atmospheric sciences, and she's been an educator in all the educational levels. She has become involved in science, musical, cultural groups, and movement that promote appreciations of art, culture, nature, humanity, and justice. Her passion for having a positive impact in, in others would drive her to continue her community service to this day and outside of Puerto Rico. Let us give Tamil a warm welcome, and you will enjoy her presentation, which is titled Barrio E. Hi, everyone. Barrio E is a community organization aiming to foster diversity in the arts through um, integration and interactive programs uh, that provides for integration of the society through education, music, dance, arts, and culture. That's one of our marketing uh, flyers. This was our uh, first class in October 2012. As you know, um, the classes for Barrio E are very diverse across ages, across ethnicities, we are a bridge of Latinos and other ethnicities as well, and with different backgrounds, professional academic backgrounds. We also give workshops at different cities, and in the workshops we provide for percussion, dancing, songs, but also history, and how we are all connected through music and through the history of music, uh, uh, through the influences that we get from Europe, Africa, going to the Caribbean, and then the Caribbean influencing all, also other uh, countries. We have been in Denver, in Boulder. Right now, yesterday we started in Broomfield, and tomorrow we are going to be here in Longmont for the first time. Um, so we are expanding very quickly. As you can see, there are um, uh, classes for kids, for the family, for adults, seniors, and so on. We also give seminars to different institutions. In here we have uh, CU Boulder, where we were in the dance and culture class, where uh, we explain a little bit about the roots and how it, the, all the background about the, those roots and how we are all connected through the music. Um, we have done after school programs. Uh, we present here pre-K, this is New Horizons. They enjoy percussion, they enjoy dancing, they enjoy learning songs in Spanish that we tell them the definitions in English also to include uh, everybody that is on the classes. We have also uh, done uh, some after school programs in elementary schools. Uh, we have uh, Sanchez School and the Creekside Elementary School. We also uh, engage them in all of these uh, different activities with all the different rhythms and getting to know more about the Caribbean music. Um, these are some exhibitions, so people that have taken our classes, they have been exposed outside, but also other people that are watching us, they get exposed as well. Um, there are around 9,300 people that we have reached with our classes, workshops, exhibitions, and performances in only one year. 
This is Palvate Social Events. It's a jamming session where people can come monthly and just enjoy each other, connect with each other, and if you have taken our classes, just showing off. Um, uh, also, people that are, uh, haven't taken the class, they get interested in those social events. We also have the programming of the Barrio Ensemble. That means that people that have taken our classes and they want to further represent the culture, they can do it. And we renew um, contracts for each of the ensemble every six months, so everybody can get into the ensemble. We have done uh, performances in different venues, and so we really want to reach out to the community in all different environments. So you can see uh, institutions, festivals, but also pubs. We do it all. Um, we really want to engage different uh, backgrounds and different people with this project. We also have been very involved with the community and with different causes. Uh, we really uh, provoke in the, in the classes the relationship between the music and the societal needs. And it's important to empower people. It's important to give them a voice for underrepresented population. We also do professional development uh, for the people that have been in the ensemble and they want to teach what we are teaching. So we teach them how to teach. And it has been very successful, too. Uh, we have had people that also have been doing performances for the thesis and going to Afro-Caribbean music uh, to further their, their musicality. We have brought people to Puerto Rico, for example, and we want to continue this uh, just to immerse people into the, in the, in the culture and have the opportunity to meet other music uh, and, master, and master, masters in our musical genres. This is a big event in Puerto Rico where people from all over the cities, they come and play together. Uh, we belong to a bigger community. We want to be responsible with it. it has, it's a lot of challenges, but with they also by being in a bigger community, we get those values also and show the, the, the culture that it's really uh, is about. We bring instruments from Puerto Rico. They are very costly, but we're bringing it because we want people to have the right experience. If you're showing something that has to deal with uh, as a musical genre, we want to have the right instruments for people uh, to have the right experience. So that's why we bring people, we bring, um, drums and all of the instruments from Puerto Rico. We also support economical um, economy, uh, local economy. Our attires are from a seamstress that lives in Longmont. And uh, also the t-shirts and some gear that we have uh, to for, for fundraising, they're from Boulder, a store from Boulder. We also try to do our best in marketing, social media, but also in radio and TV and the newspaper. We want to really reach the community and let them know that we exist so they can come and participate and get integrated in those classes that we, do, that we teach. Uh, why we exist, if you notice over there, it's like around 25% of the Latino population right now in, in Lomont. Um, there is a challenges in growing population. We want to work with that education at the community level. Um, and also the need of the diversification of the arts, integration of society, that's why Barrio A exists. How you can get involved? We need you and we need funding. We, we need funding. <coughs> All these uh, programs, of course, uh, has a, a cost involved. You can become a member, a volunteer, a donor, a sponsor, or a partner. Please sign over there. We have, <laughs> if you are interested in Barrio A, and I'm gonna be here uh, answering some questions if you have any. Thank you. All right, I'll sign up. I'll go to Puerto Rico if I have to. <laughs> it is great, though. You know, you think about it. When you were a young kid and you wanted to meet girls or you wanted to meet boys, what was the one thing everybody told you to do? Learn how to dance. If you ain't dancing, ain't nothing happening in your life. So as you look at this and you think about everything, the, 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 the body of air and getting involved in all these things, the whole trip to life is don't regret what you did. What you want to do is point, get to the point where you don't regret what you didn't do. So make sure you do it. Absolutely. And with that, when do I leave? <laughs>
Okay.